the Octonauts and the Midnight Zone. Wrench! <laughs> Screwdriver! <laughs> Carrot! <laughs> Thanks, Vegemals! Is the guppe ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, today our mission is to travel to the bottom of the sea and add a new page to Shellington's book. This is an unfinished guide to the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? It sounds dark and scary. It is, me hearty. The Midnight Zone is a place so deep that the sun never shines there. In this book, I describe many amazing creatures from the Midnight Zone. A limpet, a tube worm, a vent fish. At the end, however, there are these empty pages. It's our job to fill these empty pages with a creature no one's ever seen before. And since it's so dark down there, I added these extra lights to the Gup A to help you see. When the lights on the Gup flash, you're running out of power and you need to come back up right away. Shellington, Peso and Quasi, put on your deep sea suits. Ready? Ready, Ready Captain. Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Captain. It's not dark yet. That's because we're still up in the sunlight zone. Are we there yet? It's rather dark. No, we're now entering the twilight zone. And the midnight zone is even deeper and darker. Even deeper and darker. Octonauts, we have entered the Midnight Zone. It's really dark down here. Let's turn on the special deep sea lights. It's awfully quiet down here. Captain, what's that sound? That's just our propeller, Peso. It always makes that sound. What about that? There's something very hot up ahead. Shiver me whiskers! Is that... smoke? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! We found some hydrothermal vents. What's a hydrothermal vent? It's like an underwater volcano. That's very hot water pouring out of the top. Helmets, everybody. This is the perfect place to find a creature that's never been seen before. Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Ready. Oh, Captain! Have you found something, Shellington? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found a limpet, but that's nothing new. And these are tube worms. They only live in the midnight zone. They're fascinating, but they're not new. Huh? Over here! Yow! It looks big. It's... it's... It's only rocks. Sorry, Shellington. Huh? That's a vent fish. It's not a new creature either, I'm afraid. Let's keep looking, Octonauts. Mm. 
Shellington, what are these holes? Interesting. I found a rock before with holes exactly like this, but I've never discovered what made the holes. Let's dig up a rock sample. I'll get the rock cutter. Allow me. Uh, thanks. I'll take it from here. Oh no, I broke the rock sample. Oh! No problem, I can get a good look inside it now. Maybe something's living in here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Where's the other piece? Got it. Octonauts, the power on the gap A is getting low. We should go. But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the gup. <sighs> so, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. <sighs> I think there's something alive in here. Oh! Oh! Wait! 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 Where am I? You're on the octopod. My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. Hmm. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. Fantastic. I'll use some sticky limpet glue to hold it together. Good as new. I need a picture. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Now we'll take you back home, where it's nice and dark. I can't wait. Octonauts, come down and visit any time. Peso, we have a new friend in the Midnight Zone. It may be dark down here, but it's not scary anymore, Captain. And you have your own page in my book now. Sweet. 
the octonaut and the decorator crab. Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cat, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. A thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Hi, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Glass since me pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky. So we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octa hat. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. Whoa! That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! We're 
Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi, you go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock! <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. Seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief. Here he is under all our equipment. Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Ah, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. Oh, 
Here's the inkling. We've just received a call from Captain Barnacles. I'll be right there. Uh, could you stay here and take the fish biscuits out of the oven? <laughs> Professor, we've found some underwater caves to explore. Oh, excellent. Wow! Captain, are you okay? Yes, Peso, but something seems... Oh! Octonauts, stand by. We're under attack. Barnacles out. Mm. Ah, I can't see what's got us, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, Quasi. We're getting out of here. Whiskers! Whatever it was, it's gone. Octonauts, we're okay. Phew. Prepare to open the octo hatch. Barnacles out. Are you all right? Aye, matey! Cap, the gub's covered in slimy ink. And what are these marks? <gasps> mm. Must be where the monster grabbed us. The monster? We don't know that it was a monster. Hmm. Captain, I've seen marks like this before. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they were made by... My cousin. Your cousin? Yes, my cousin, Irving, the giant squid. Dashie, let's show them my family photos. I've been helping Professor Inkling put his family photos on the computer. That's me and one of my relatives, the blue-ringed octopus. My little cousins, the firefly squid, and that is my distant cousin, the giant squid. That's your cousin? It's the only photo of him I've got, and it's not even a good one. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's enormous. The octopus and the squid are in the same family. I'm small, and he's big, but we're alike in many ways. We both have arms with suckers. Excellent for holding on to things. Aye. That explains how your cousin grabbed the gup, eh? But why would he do it? Well, Cousin Irving may have been trying to ask for help. That's a funny way to ask. I don't think he meant to hurt you. Well, in fact, I think you scared him. Really? Both my cousin and I squirt ink when something scares us, you see. The ink allows us to run away and hide without being seen. Captain. We need to find him and make sure he's all right. Professor, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find Inkling's cousin, the giant squid. Quasi, peso, into the gub. Captain. I don't usually go out on missions, but Irving is family. If he needs help, then I should be there. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. Mm. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy.
Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Aye, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, there's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. Uh. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ew! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Uh. Hey? Octonaut, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonauts, continue the search. Oh. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Cousin Irving! <gasps> Inkling! Hmm, something smells good. Would you like some fish biscuits? Coming right up! Cousin Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. And this is the octopod, my home away from home. Well, my cousin the Octonaut. Let's get a new picture for your family album, Professor. Moving closer, please. Perfect! We're ready when you are, Captain. Activating tentacle reach. <laughs> Give me a smile. Say seaweed. Seaweed! <laughs> The Octonaut and the Snot Sea Cucumber. I know. 
Uh, Wazi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to... Whoa! Oh, my! Whoa. What was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, Tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Hi, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Buncher, muncher, crunchy. Oh, never mind. What be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a, it's a, it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow, ow, ow. <gasps> that rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow. We're gonna help you, little fella. We need Peso down here, right away! Peso reporting for medical duty, sir. Don't worry, I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod, Cap? Thanks, Tweak. This is a type of animal called a sea cucumber. Woo you really are slippery. So you think my patient is some sort of sea cucumber? Snort sea cucumber, actually. Oh, it's not a sea cucumber. Yes, it is a sea cucumber. Snort, to be exact. Dr. Shellington, either it is a sea cucumber or it's not. It's snort. It's not. No, not. It's not. It's snort. Snort. You see how it's covered in slippery, slimy snot? Being covered in slimy snot makes it easy to slip away from anything that tries to catch it. And that's why it's called a snot sea cucumber. Oh, snot sea cucumber. No, I mean, yes, I think. <sighs> it's okay, little Slippy. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just bandage you up and you'll be as good as new. Please hold still, or I won't be able to... No! Come here, now. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oops! Whoa! Slippy? Slippy, are you under here? Hello? Slippy, where are you? <gasps> A trail of slimy snot. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. That's not good, Captain. A snot sea cucumber needs water to breathe. She can't be out of the water for too long. All Octonaut hands on deck. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. And her name is Slippy. Avast, you slimy critter! Come to Quasi!
carrots. Now, our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo chute. Hi. She's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. Captain, we're running out of time. Oh no, what are we going to do? Hmm, there's only one thing we can do, Peso. If we can't bring the snot sea cucumber to the ocean, let's bring the ocean to the snot sea cucumber. Huh? We'll flood the octopod. You mean fill it with water? Yow! Hi there, Captain. It's all fixed. Attention all octonauts. Put on your diving helmets. Opening all hatches. We're flooding the octopod. Yep, faster than you can say. Flooding the octopod? In ten seconds, the octopod will be completely filled with water. Nine. Hang on, Slippy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wherever she is, at least she can breathe. But she's still hurt. There has to be somewhere we haven't looked. Right over your head. Over my head? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe not, but there she be, right over your head. Oh, yes. Gently now. We don't want to frighten her again. It's all right, Slippy. We're not going to hurt you. Uh. Gotcha! This won't hurt a bit. Good as new. You should heal nicely. And here's a sticker for being my... my... my slipperiest patient ever. Oh, thank you! Great. Now let's get you back out into the ocean. And the ocean back out of the octopod. Well, at least things are back to normal. Um, sort of. Yep, Cap. Looks like we'll be picking seaweed out of the ship for a long time. But it was worth it. <laughs> ah. That was the last piece. But there's still one missing. Where could it be? <laughs> Slippy, come on now. That's not the way you play with puzzles. It's not. Well, it's not. Oh, snot. <laughs> snot. <laughs> the octonauts and the baby dolphin. Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because... Uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. 
Practice your driving skills. Ah, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> Dolphins! Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Whoa! Woohoo! It's nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find out. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle. Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the Gup E. Peso, into the Gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, yeah, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Why, I kept it. Don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Oh, this looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? Yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? <laughs> You're a mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. What is it, little matey? Careful, matey! The 
those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah! Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? Nope, it uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. Yow! At a dolphin. Now try this. Where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi! Where are you? Look, over there. Um, excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? <laughs> yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Lunch is served. <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. <sighs> He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut and a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye. And thank you. Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. <sighs> this belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. The Octonauts and the Whale Shark. Hmm. Look at these pictures coming in from Dashy. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because their teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's 
A whale shark! Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now! Uh-oh, closing time! My camera! Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine.
line in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> we seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! Hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> We've made it all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside! Cat coming through! This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Why won't you open your mouth? You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo. On your marks. A oh, goochie, 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 go. Get set. Goochie, go. Go! Hey, so. I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us. And cured the whale shark's tummy ache. Ha <laughs> ha, cute little beast. Ooh. Not so little. <laughs> photos I took to send into National Seagraphic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> <laughs>